Hey guys, I want to talk with you about the largest centipede in North America, the giant red-headed centipede. They're also known as the giant desert centipede or even the Texas red-headed centipede. They have a painful venomous bite, so I do not recommend handling one. But if you do ever need to handle one, please use great care and show respect. These guys are known to have confrontational attitudes. They can get up to about 6.5 to 8 inches in length. He's trying to stay low, so I don't know if he's going to want to climb up. Yeah, he keeps avoiding me. No, I just want to see if he crawls on me. Let him do it himself. So I know they're temperamental. They get uh, upset pretty quick. Seems like. Must be the redhead. One of the purposes of this video is to show that maybe they aren't quite the monsters that we think they are. That they'll avoid you if they can. I'd like for him to, I need to go over there and stand in front of you. Notice that the only way that we can get it to go on our hands is to cut off all other ways of it uh, escaping. So he had uh, his fingers in front and on both sides of it, so it had to crawl over his hand to get away. From there, you gently lift it and try to make it feel comfortable. These guys are known to do exploratory bites on tips of fingers, so I try to keep my fingers tucked whenever I'm handling him. Shake your arm a bunch. All right, you got him. Don't let him go on your neck. <laughs> hey, no, you don't let him go on my neck, cause I'm gonna freak out. You got him. He keeps crawling down your back. Just a second, I'm trying to get him to go back on my hand again. All right. Okay. Here, come around over here in front. He's a bit calmer right now. Okay. Yeah. It's cause of dad. He likes old dad. When they start moving quickly or wagging their heads from side to side, that's an indicator that they're getting agitated, so use extreme caution. Having a neighbor's dog who loves being right by your fence and trying to pick a fight with your dogs doesn't really help. So let's get this centipede back down on the ground and let him feel comfortable again. Come on over here, buddy. Come climb right on top of me. See how this centipede avoids me if it can? Its main goal isn't to try to bite me or hurt me or inflict its venom. It just wants to get away. It just wants to live its life and everything that's included in that. Now again, these centipedes can be confrontational. They can be aggressive. They can even almost like chase after you. But that's only if they're agitated or upset. But if they're comfortable, they're going to leave you alone, especially if you just leave them alone. But if you do ever need to handle one, let it crawl on you. I would not suggest trying to pick it up with your fingers or anything like that. Let it crawl on top of you. That way it feels comfortable. And chances are, they'll probably try to avoid you, showing that they're not quite the monsters that they've been made out to be. We gotta get you back, buddy. You're you're walking away a little too far. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. And you go.
I understand you don't want to go in there. It's just temporary. <laughs>